Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Now before Star Hobson's death, with child cruelty and death, these were few and far between. Of course we had Baby P and so forth, at least on the reporting side of things. But now it seems like the floodgates have opened and kids are being beaten to death by parents. It's absolutely disgusting. So parents Benjamin O'Shea and Naomi Johnson caused their 8 week old daughter more than 60 broken bones, and then they tried to blame paramedics about their daughter's fractures. At 8 weeks old, I can almost guarantee that poor kid, Amina Faye Johnson, did not see a crumb of happiness. Her life was filled with pain. For the 56 days of this child's life, she suffered every day. What's worst is, for the disgusting crimes as parents, 26-year-old Benjamin O'Shea has been jailed for 8 years and 8 months in prison while Johnson was told she will serve 7 years and 2 months. I just have one question. If you murder someone, or let's say you walk around with a knife and get convicted of wounding with intent, you're looking at these type of sentences. So how can a mum and dad knowingly hurt their 8 week old child and ultimately cause their death, but get such slight sentences? In total, Amina Faye Johnson suffered 41 fractures to her ribs, 24 fractures to her limbs, and experts told the court that Amina must have suffered continued physical abuse. This all happened on the morning of April 2019, after Amina Johnson stopped breathing. Paramedics arrived on the scene at the family home within minutes and attempted to save the child's life, but she was pronounced dead at the scene. And at first, her death was treated as unexplained, but an x-ray taken later on concluded that she had broken bones and some of the fractures were fresh breaks. Because 8 week old Amina's death could not be explained, prosecution says they could not charge the parents with murder, and again these stupid parents tried to blame paramedics for their child's death, when paramedics were the one who attempted to save their daughter's life in the first place. Go figure. Stay safe. Safe.